Hey guys, this is Generic Person here. Today we're back with another video and we're gonna be looking at not only Linux Mint as we have here, but Ubuntu Budgie, which is in here. You guys really can't see it. It's a flash drive. Actually, I'm kind of curious. I'm gonna be using a wireless mouse that I haven't used in some time because of connectivity issues, even though it's USB receiver mouse. But anyways, uh, so I'm going to switch to Linux distributions and we're going to compare them and for to get as close performance as possible or to make this a fair comparison, both are two USB drives and yeah. And actually I realized that the battery may be dead in this mouse. Oh no it isn't. Yeah, it sort of is a bit weird, but I think it's because of this, it's probably because of the USB thing. Yeah. Unless the USB 2 port is just trash, but I really don't think so. Whip mouse, alright. The mouse can just basically rest in peace. I, I have another wireless mouse anyways. So... Um, alright, so we're going to be taking a look at a few different things, mainly uh, for looks is really what I'm aiming for, to be honest. But I really just don't like, uh, I, I feel too lazy most of the time to just, like, change the theme, you know. Alright, so, we're going to take a look at a window. And yes, there is dark themes. But the question I have to ask the most is why are we all of a sudden just implementing a dark mode when just why actually not that I don't like it heck I actually do like dark modes and so but I'm just wondering like what's really the reason behind it new looks Linux? Actually, unless they're trying to copy Linux, because Linux has always had a dark theme. Not dark mode, but you get the idea. Alright, so this is, at the time of this video, the latest version of Linux Mint, uh, 19.3. And, jeez, on this camera, you guys really don't have that much of a really good brightness. Even though it's like, the max brightness on here. Oh, now you guys do. That's pretty dang weird. Alright, so, and I'm also using an iPhone, hence why you get the better quality. Alright, so, we need, like, themes. Oh, whoops. I just expected it to automatically set when I saw typing. So I used to GNOME, because I am using Fedora 31 workstation. And dang it, hold on, I gotta fix this bit. Well, I'll fix it later. Yep, so it's actually sort of hard to film and use the touchpad like this. So, alright, we get to have a dark thing. Dark. I really don't get the difference between, like, for example, this and this dark. But there's really no difference, I might have a dark version anyways. Then we can even have a dark cursor. And then this is already dark. And there you go. You have a dark theme. Easy. Is it because Linux is just more customizable? Oh, you mean I launched two windows? Oh, no, never mind. Alright, so we got a nice little window here. And we got, like, we were able to do window snapping. Even this window snapping as well. Even, like, half, 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 half. You get the idea. It's like, Windows 10... It's window snapping, but you realize that you can do, you have an additional way of doing it. Now both, I th think both come with Firefox, that's usually the, the default choice. And so the system requirements are pretty much about the same. Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu. Now, uh, oh jeez, yeah, um, okay. So we got Firefox here, and then let's see what other apps we have. We got, I think we have Time Shift. This is mainly a, a beginner-friendly distro, but 
Yeah, who cares? But Q5 savings, huh? On no, it's called Redshift, isn't it? Well, whatever it's called, you got like something similar to System of Store in Windows, which is nice. And hence, the recommendation if you're new to Linux, use Linux Mint because you have a little, you just have a little time getting used to Linux. Like it, it doesn't, it won't really take that long. So familiar interface plus a ton of different good stuff. Oh, that's a oh. So it is time shift. My bad. Yeah, it's a system of store utility. And you do got this complicated stuff. Um, we just use R sync next. Um, yeah, no snapshots on this device. Mm. Yeah, it's like a nice little thing. Anyway, so. Then we got a bit of oh, boot repair. I've never seen that before. I'm guessing this is either part of the, just the live USB, but if you have that, then that's nice. I mean, you got a few utilities, although GIMP and VLC have been removed. But that unfortunately makes sense and part of the, you know, reason why. And you can also. Analyze your disk space for different disks. This is uh, mounted. So we can analyze the disk space. Oh. So. so if in case in the case you need to repair um your system you can basically repair your system like this so you, can, you have many options with this really I really haven't actually used it and also yeah um, so yeah and it has like a nice little cool theme and let's take a look at the system monitor. System monitor. That's basically a task manager. Um, it's actually, I do tend to like this. Like, there's a bit more control, really, with here. Dependencies, all, actually. I tend to usually have the view like this since I. It just, I just like it that way, really. Then you got your resources here. And yes, actually, I didn't upgrade this laptop. So now it has 8 gigs. I wanted to aim for 16, but there were issues with that. So we can see it's using around a gig of RAM. This is with the system monitor open and with the default configuration. No other apps installed or basically on the live system. Not using any of the swap, which, well... I'm probably going to actually increase that now that I have more RAM. Well, I, I don't know. I may increase that to 2.5, maybe 3. This is in giga, giga, gigabits, uh, gig, gigabytes, GIB. It's not GB. It's like, what, I think gigabinary bytes it was? I don't know, but. Um, so, it's just standard task manager. Certain system monitor and you even get file system usage. Plus, um, you got I think draw you got drawing or LibreOffice draw. So, oh yeah, LibreOffice is included, which it's like a nice alternative to a uh, Microsoft Office, and it's also compatible with uh, Microsoft Office as well. And this is completely free plus open source, so that's an extra bonus. So, yep. Then we have like the similar MS Paint thing, except it's not Microsoft Paint. It's um, called Drawing. It's for the GNOME desktop, but it's, I think Cinnamon's a fork. Oh well. So let's make a nice little neat drawing here. 
Yep, you like that uh, artwork? Yeah, I think it's nice. It should be in a museum. But we're not gonna save, unfortunately. And, yep. And so... I do want to take a look at what version is included by default. Actually, it'll be a, I'll update the system anyway, so there are going to be a ton of updates anyways. So, oh, 7.4.0, 4, 4, GCC8. Nope, but it can be installed with that. Same thing with, well, I guess the farthest is GCC8. I mean, I did use GCC9 to compile lines with, and now... Fix it so that way it compiles with line GCC, the proper version, at least 7, I guess. I don't know, but, yeah. So, we've got a nice little things. We've got a generic calculator. We've got basic mode, advanced mode. And, um, we don't have lines. L lines? I'm quite curious. Life lines. I don't know. Lines is a calculator. But, yep, so that's it. And we're gonna reboot. Actually, you just need to reboot. And it'll say, yo, you, you need to remove the flash drive and press enter. Or not. I, we have limited time here, and yes, I'm also making this a very fair comparison, I swear. Because we're using the same port, actually, and it's a USB 3. Actually, I'll change the quick setting. I'll do a quick setting, but just disable this. Generally, I do keep Secure Boot off because it. If the OS is just. Sometimes it just refuses loading of an OS that. Like, I think. Uh, yeah, it just. An OS. Sometimes the OS just. An OS I want to try and just doesn't load because of Secure Boot. That's always just a downside. Um, this one. You can hear the fans ramp up. That's usual whenever we go into the BIOS or the boot menu. So nothing too bad to worry about. And we got Ubuntu Budgie. Now Linux Mint also 19.3. Oh, 19.3, you can see the outline really. I could try to do this, but it just makes things worse. Unless, unless I could just... It really doesn't do anything, so... We could see it, I think this is uh, a... Yeah, I mean, slightly... Bit of a... I guess, increase in boot time, maybe? But, yeah, so this uses the budgie desktop. And we can see, oh dang, it looks nice. I, I like that wallpaper. We got like like a nice little UI. Um, about we can go ahead and just um take a look. Right, system specs. Yeah. All right, so I kind of got a bit interrupted there, but that's okay. Um. So anyway, so we also got this little coffee cup, and it's caffeine mode. So what this does. I think this, um, oh, jeez. Well, one thing before we get to that, the fans are just ramping up like crazy. Now, probably most, the average person is just like, I don't want to heat a fans. Well, I don't know. But me, oh, well, this couldn't have loaded earlier. <laughs> so we get like a nice little welcome thing we can install now. Got discourse. Ugh. Jeez, like, what the heck is with the brightness with this iPhone? There's no, like, easy way, but that's the sound. Maybe if I lower it and do that. Focus. Oh. Low battery mode. Dang it. Yeah, this iPhone bat I battery, it's an iPhone 7, really doesn't work, it sort of sucks, but I'll make this do. Anyway, so, uh, this will work for now, um, we got Ubuntu Budgie. 
and it's Ubuntu 19.10, Ubuntu Budgie 19.10. So it's a nice little welcome thing. We got a nightlight, which is like, I don't know, um, comfort view on, I guess it's Android. That's on my LG phone anyway, so. Albeit, I really don't see it actually working. It's probably the schedule though. It's what I need to set manual. Well, whatever it is, yeah, so, um, we got this nice little theme, it's sort of similar to the material design look, really, yeah, look at that, see, it's sort of similar to it, and we got same window snapping, but it's only half and half, unlike in mint, plus we got like a little dock here, it's sort of Mac OS X, like, can we configure the dock though? Unless there's an actual individual application, it doesn't seem like we can. Background, dog. Nope, it really doesn't seem like we can. But, um, correct me in the comments if you know if there's a way. So anyways, um, so that's that. And, um... We got Bluetooth again. Um, I'll turn that off. We got a nice little caffeine mode in case you don't want your computer sleeping on the job. I probably already said that, but just in case. And we got like a little nice notepad thing. So, in case, hold on a sec. And create a little program here, just basically. In case if you need to keep some code here, it's there. Or whatever, really. It's just actually saved there. We click it, do our job. And this too also comes with Firefox, but Firefox is my main browser. I actually like it, and you should try it too. Um, here it's saved, and that's all. And this is a uh, thing when opaque, uh, the little ball, so. Um, the other one looks similar to Windows and Linux Mint, while we have this similar to Mac OS. Well, sort of, anyways. Well, it's sort of, I guess, a cross, be like, a cross between them, although you can see a bit of more Mac OS-like stuff. And generally, I like to get rid of the title ball. ball. So, we get a nice little theme as well. Both look nice, and you can get a soft application. Mint, bet, I bet you it also came with a software application as well. Software manager, you get the idea, or app store, whatever you want to call it. We even get this, like, again, this also comes from Mac OS. It just slides over, you get um, little applets here. Like a sort of little control center, and you got notifications here as well. Similar to the Windows 10 Action Center, but more, actually, no, more similar to the Mac OS thing, which you got. This is like the widget section, and then you got notifications, but I think it's just two separate things. Plus, you can even configure stuff here, and a little buffins in here. Plus, you get to open your calendar app, and if you long click this, it does nothing, actually. But if you right, oh, no, if you right click it, actually... You can keep it in the dock, or you can close it, or for, and yeah, or do whatever stuff. It depends on the application, but, ugh, oh, you get the idea. Let's just um, show you some examples. Here we got what the file manager looks like. Um, these icons could be a bit better. Although, what file manager is this? Oh, we even get a menu bar. Oh, it's Nemo. Wait, Nemo? Huh. That's the same file manager in Linux Mint. Well, at least I think it is. Well, anyway, so... We even get a few games. Mm. Well, I mean, they're pretty much similar, really. 
in terms of even desktop environments as well, we got mines. Replace an M with an L and I'm kidding. Alright, we got oh, I didn't mean to flag that. Oh, I should have. <laughs> that was a little very quick game. Although the most important thing Solitaire. You got Solitaire. But also you get Mahjong. Please correct me in the comments on how to pronounce it if I'm pronouncing it wrong because I probably just butchered the name. In which I apologize if I did. So we got this. In which I gotta match them. I've actually played this on um on my tablet before, but uh, it turns out we really can't match that. I mean, I'm not really too sure how this goes, but we can match that. We can, uh, yes, yeah, really just gotta be the same. It's like, you gotta get, I guess, some, you gotta get rid of, I guess, some on bottom first. I'm not really too sure, but it's a nice little game. Really. So, now we'll close out of that. We even not get the time here, although this isn't actually a widget. In Linux Mint, there are widgets. Um, I've, I've used the thing before, and who came here? Hi, Scotty. How you doing? Alright, so, um, and also I featured him in another video, Real Life Tom and Jerry, except Scotty kept, keeps winning, and Jerry's the toy. So, Scotty's, uh, thick as usually, as usual. So, anyways, um, we got, and we too, in the, in Budgie, Ubuntu Budgie, get LibreOffice, and that's good. And the installers will, oh, live patch, oh yeah, that's like for the counter patching, in case, so uh, you don't have to reboot. Um, it's not available for the system, not available for this release. Unless you mean, like, flavor of Ubuntu. I don't know what you mean, but I think they mean flavor, most likely. Huh. That's pretty weird. We got available drivers, in case we need proprietary ones. Really, there are some open source drivers that I guess do also rely on some firmware, and by firmware... Was quit. Um... This is just binary only. I mean, heck, I guess if I try to put the buy on this thing, the Wi-Fi card, there's no Wi-Fi. Although, you, I think you'd still get Ethernet. And there goes Scotty. Um, I think you... Uh, yeah, no Internet. The graphics... You still get graphics. Although, they could be better. But if I put Tresco, it doesn't even load. At least, that's the last time I tried. I mean, that's on the live system. I actually haven't installed it on here, really. Even get Thunderbolt options, but we don't have Thunderbolt on here. Thunderbolt security level cannot be the determined. Because it's not available on here. And you wait so well if you want to get give some new a try. If you're a Windows user and you want to give, like, Linux a try, but you don't want to have to keep on using the, the win, uh, ha you don't want, like, a familiar Windows experience, maybe you could try at Budgie. Let's see if I can focus this camera. Oh, you better focus camera. Come on. You know you can do it It was fine before what the heck happened Like really it's like I have better management on my other phone than this like Really? Really, Apple? Don't even get me started on how locked down iOS is, really. Alright, so you can continue. It's just the standard installer. But we're not going to install anything now. I do want to use Linux Mint for the... Well, actually, I already said the final verdict. So the final verdict is... I do want to use Linux Mint. Oh, that's not Linux Mint. But the flash drive it's on. This one is... I do want to use um Linux Mint, but then again, I also 
want to use budget because I actually haven't used it before and come on camera can you focus please well we're just gonna have to make do so yeah I mean this is something different really but budgie it's nice to give it a try I guess so well I think I may just what happened Oh, ubiquity crashed. Yeah, I mean, some apps, when you close the window, it doesn't necessarily mean that the, the application's closed, I guess, really. I mean, you could just close the window, but it could still be working in the background. I don't know, but ubiquity crashed. Oh, well, though. So, the final verdict? I'm guessing it's Linux Mint. It is. But I have yet to actually... I actually have to reboot this thing, get my files. I gotta get ready. So anyways, um, hopefully you like this video. And, yep, we're gonna be rebooting, and yep, hopefully you guys like this video. Let's see you in the next one. But before I do, P.S., I guess this is the way my system set up. I can't use any of these new accounts. They just, it just is... They just don't load. Only this one works. So, yeah. Um, I'll see you guys later. See you guys later in the next video. Bye.